everybody and welcome back to another JK Running Productions video and here today I'm going to give you my predictions for the 2020 London Marathon. I have been waiting months for this race. Months. I'm planning on waking up super early to watch the race and I'm just really excited to see it. Now as of course everybody knows but Kayla is out of the London Marathon. He had a calf injury. Not gonna lie, when I first heard this news, I thought it was a joke. But it's serious. He dropped out. So we're gonna talk all about that. Can anybody beat Kipchoge? I will let you know that answer in this video. Before I talk about that, though, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do workout videos, fun bike rides with my friends, race vlogs, and shoe reviews are coming. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram, JK Running Productions, Twitter, JK Running Productions, and Joshua Krieger on Strava. With that guys, let's talk about the 2020 London Marathon. Alright everybody, let's talk about this race. So, as of right now, the next really big competitor that I see to really give Kipchoge a run for his money is Mosinek Garamu. Garamu, he has a PB of 202.55. He placed second last year in London. He was basically right there with Kipchoge all the way till the end. There's a picture of Kipchoge going through the finish line, and basically he is right there. So if I think he has a chance of really upsetting Kipchoge, but really, I think Kipchoge is in his own level. But if anybody's going to give him a run for his money, I think it, I think Garamu has a good shot of that. He also placed second at the 2019 World Championships in the marathon. Lalisa De Sisa, he just narrowly beat out Garamu. So it's going to be interesting to see how Garamu responds and how he really races. Um, also, there's this person named Muel Washion. Uh, he's from Ethiopia, I believe. He ran 203.16 last year at London, and he came in third in that race. So look for him also in that starting pack. Um, to Marta Tola, he's ran 204.16. He hasn't played. He hasn't placed in the top three at a world marathon major, but you never know. Hey. This could be his series ran 20406. That's a really good time for the marathon. So I could see him being in that lead pack and maybe staying with Kipchoge. Um but honestly guys, Kipchoge is gonna be Kipchoge's just in his own level. I see him I see Kipchoge going out maybe a little bit conservative in the first half and throwing down the hammer on the second. That's what he did. That's what he did last year. That's what he did in Berlin. He, It seems that he always has a super big negative split in the second half of his race. Um, so basically, guys, I think if Chogi is in his own level, I think there's guys like Garamu, Washehun, Tula. I think they have a chance. They'll probably... Stay with Kipchoge as long as they can, but I think Kipchoge is going to be able to hold out with Bukele out of this race. Now, honestly, guys, if Bukele was in this race, I would still pick Kipchoge, but if, let's say, Bukele in mile 23 is running with Kipchoge, I would probably pick Bukele just because of his track background. I mean, he had, he had the 5K world record. He has the 10K record right now. I mean, Chet the guy will probably break the 10K world record, but he had the 10K world record. He had the 5K. He's got speed a little bit more than Kipchoge, I believe. So if they came down to mile mile 23, Bekele was with Kipchoge. I honestly would have picked Bekele, but now that Bekele's out, this changes. But now that Bekele is out, it just for me changes the whole dynamic of the race. Uh, also for America, Jared Ward is going to be there. Um, basically, Jared Ward's plan is he doesn't want to get lapped by Kipchoge. So uh, I think Jared Ward can put together a really solid performance. I mean, Jared Ward, he did not have the trials experience that he was hoping for. Going into the trials, I would have picked Jared Ward to be in that top three, but he wasn't. So I think he's going to look to really rebound from that trials experience. 
He's also said it's been a really short marathon buildup, only like a seven-week marathon buildup. But I still believe that Jared Ward, he's going to be able to compete. Um, is he going to win? No, he's not going to win. He's got a 209 personal best. Kipchoge has a two, 201.39. There's no way he's going to be able to beat Kipchoge. But will he be in the mix of... Probably a 209 pack, 208 pack. I could see that happening. I I see him having probably a big personal best this. I see him having a big personal best this weekend, considering all the marathon majors he's ran in, they've all been hilly. There he hasn't really ran on a flat course, so this is a really flat course at St James Park. So I really think he will have a chance to really excel in this course. Also, guys, just one thing before I give you basically a super quick one-minute breakdown of what I think is going to happen. The weather forecast is supposed to be in the 50s, but there's also a high chance of rain. So, I'm probably leaning towards there not being a world record. But I could, I mean, I can see a world record happening, I just don't see it, though. I just don't see a world record happening if the conditions are wet and rainy. So that's that's kind of a will it rain, will it not, and if it does rain, how much will that rain impact the race? So guys, let's let's give the super quick breakdown. I've kind of rambled a little bit, so let's do the super quick breakdown. I think Kipchoge is going to win the 2020 London Marathon. I think Garamu, Washington, and Tula, they're going to be right with Kipchoge competing with them. But I don't think they'll be able to hang with Kipchoge at the end. I just think Kipchoge is in a class of his own. He's going to be able to hold on to win. Uh, I think Jared Ward, the American, has a really solid personal best, personal record. Considering all the marathon majors he's ran in, they've all had hills. They, he hasn't ran on a flat course. So I can see potential of him doing a personal record. And also, will there be a marathon world record? I am going to say no because I just don't think the conditions, if there's rain, it's going to be conducive for a world record marathon attempt. With that, guys, that's the video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Turn those post notifications on for more of my content. No, qu no trivia question of the day. Question of the day. Who is your 2020 London Marathon pick? Comment that down below. With that, I'm going to sign off like I always do. The grind never stops.